Ladies and gentlemen, glad to have you back on your favorite show, Not So Complicated, the show brought to you by the Innovation Consortium, a show like I always tell you that breaks down everything to a layman's understanding to your own understanding. Oh yes, and remember please to follow us on all our social media handles at Innovation Consortium, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, everywhere at Innovation Consortium. And please endeavor to subscribe to our YouTube channel, that red button, please click it, click it, we need more subscribers and more viewership. Oh yes. And today's topic is about MCing. What is MCing? Can anyone MC? Can you MC? Do you have a hidden talent? Oh yes, we are going to find out today. Yes, and every time you leave home and you go to work, you say you know you are going to work. But MC, the comedian, you be a can you be an MC and become a comedian? Oh, bo, go, bo, 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 and can Oh yes, and introducing my panel today, uh, dear Mama, how are you, man? I'm very okay. Inspiration there. And so. as usual, inspiration is pleasant. In a glass of inspiration. Mm. I'll one day unzip whatever it like will steam. be in that glass. You can't know what is in here. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and whoever they can wait. Oh. Jukes, mm. the man himself, Richard Ali Mugole, how are you? Man, 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 I'm but... <laughs> No, I'm a best man. Was Whoever is next, <laughs> <laughs> I qualify. Someone gave me juice that has chove. Oh, good. Glad to have you on the show. I'm Maybe good. it's a Novida. We are here to find out. Yes, and our main guest today, uh, Ronnie McVex. How are you, man? I'm very well. Good Once night. again, I think my second time now to be on this show. Oh, yes. Um, it's a pleasure. And uh, I'm glad. I'm looking forward to what we shall discuss today. Oh, yes. Thanks for coming. Why you It is very important, by the way, in as regards to what we're going to be talking about today. Time is a very big Keep factor. Keep time. Oh yes. yes. And uh, man himself, KJ. Investor. I think you're becoming uh, investor. Uh, you're becoming a member. Uh, of, uh, a regular uh, now on the yes, show. Yes, a member oh, of this show. How are you, man? Why are you okay. investing How, in um, the show? <laughs> good to have you once again. Thank you, thank you. My name is Jacob KJ. Yes. Um, glad to be part of the show. Oh, yes. He was my MC at my wedding. Oh, okay. He was yes. not your comedian. No, no, no. He wasn't my comedian. <laughs> yeah. Although, although he threw some some jokes some, here and there. some jokes here and there. And Bonus. Yeah. <laughs> oh, glad to have you on the show. Thank you. So, beautiful people, let's talk about the main topic today, which is MCing. Ronnie, first tell us about Ronnie. Who is Ronnie? Are you single, married? Or you are single, Tell us who's Ronnie. Because you need to eat to live. Yeah, sure. uh, uh, Ronnie is my name, Musimenta. I am a radio, TV show host. I am an event, but particularly a corporate events host. Um, I am oh, also, uh, <laughs> you know, yeah, yo, 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 uh, <laughs> uh, and maybe later on I'll tell you why. Uh, but also, I do uh, TV broadcast, I do uh, content development for TV shows. Uh, I also do script writing. Okay. That's really and, and, and also, well, at the last time we had him at the show for Volta Arena, mm. where we had him as our guest as well, mm. it's because he's also a footballer. In mm. his earlier years. Ainamuko. Uh, Ainamuko. Uh, really? <laughs> yeah. uh, he got injured somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I, I, I actually still, no, I actually still play football because I think it's the easiest way I get to work out. The discipline of gym and uh, marathoning, Do running, uh, yagana. But you see, you if, in football, <laughs> <laughs> in football, where sangango, you know, chikola, you will mm. run. And I mean, yeah, I'll say this from the previous show, and now much appreciated to Volta Arena. Oh, sure. Oh, thank you. Yes, and now let's talk about a main topic. What is events I'm seeing? Um, events I'm seeing. First of all, the word MC in itself is master of ceremony or ceremonies. Now, one thing that people forget and don't understand, they think that being an MC is just talking. MC party. Your role as an MC is actually not just to talk. You are the master yes. of the ceremony. If anything goes wrong, if, by the way, how it's supposed to be, and I think our clients are paying money, but they're not getting so much the value. value. Yeah. And yeah. also, I take it back to them because for them, the understanding of an MC is to talk. Talk. Yes, talk. But an MC, you're supposed to foresee the entire event. If it's a wedding, KJ's wedding, 
you need to know who is going to be the food service provider. You need to know who is going to be the sound person. Who is person. bringing the beer? Yes, who is... Very important. <laughs> very important. You need to know all these things. You need to know what time is KJ and the wife... What time are they going to be at church? What yeah. church are they? Yeah. You see, so that you also help in the flow of events. In case of anything, by the way, an MC, the master of ceremony, is supposed to be the consultant of... Mm -hmm. We now can't see the rings, yet it is a time for church. Crisis management, you have to be there. If it comes to the venue and they say, Oh, we motokaye made it, and to because we have already entered. According to our program, we're supposed to pray, welcoming remarks, then we go for food. Now you we made it, and not but yeah. you as an MC, you can't sit and say, Ah, the Mungame made an abbey to say, and you didn't mean to car number you a W621. You're blocking the beer truck. Please move, you can't be a traitor. Go to take a So, so it's uh, MCing takes you so many things. That's why you see on Vivulu, mm. the MC will know. Actually, the MC is supposed to know and tell you, No, this artist cannot come. Before this, this artist yes. or after this artist, you will kill my vibe. The vibe of my event. <laughs> I think that is fresh Vibe because at that moment it's your event. Oh, it go fresh, Dad. You own the. Hey, Ogamba. Hey, fresh kid. Let's make it a family affair. But you get it. So, so it's so emceeing is number one. It's first of all, it's an art. It's an art. You must know. That's why you will see most of the MCs are now turning into events management. Because yeah. you must have that art to manage an, an event, to manage that ceremony. Yeah. So you if, 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 if you're at a wedding yeah. and Queen Sheba and the king herself uh, are going to uh, perform. Perform. <laughs> <laughs> who, 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 who comes <laughs> before the other? You see, you see, first of all, if, if it's a wedding, mm. it's, it depends. Because the Mugore will tell you that Nze, Zingaz, Zinjagara Shiba, Yabanzi Jamu changing, Nay King herself, Yajotu Yingiza. You understand? So, so because when you look at them, because if I look at them, it's almost the same energy. No Mugora is Okuga Mantin Nze, Nangenda Kusara cake, Nangenda Kusara cake, Njagara Kubia Kariaka Yimba. Now, if it is that song, that was, if that song was done by a particular artist, you can't say no. Sure. So you will say, okay, cut. we shall talk to Shiba. Okay. Mm. So it's, 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 but you also guide them, of course. Okay, well, I understand you're an events MC, like you said. Uh, I would like to know when you started MCing and what was your inspiration? Why MCing? Uh, why MCing? I think, I think, you see, things that are artistic, sometimes you can't run away from it. Someone who knows how to draw a photo. You can't, it's like a calling. Eh? Yeah, <laughs> But again, I think it's what we talked Don't about earlier. I can never forget. Hey, I was also artist. I never forget. The young twenty twenty five. I I think for me, it was an art. From childhood, I first of all, emceeing also comes with public speaking. Mm. It, it, it's, it's something I've done, I think, for my entire life, from about P1, P2, in class, every time they ask, so who is going to do it, I was always there. Mm. Were you a uh, class monitor? Um, no, 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 I was actually never a class monitor. The noise maker. But, were you the, the news reader at assemblies? <laughs> yes, oh, that one okay. I did. Uh, 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 and, and also, I was that guy, they said, so did, did you ever stand for information prefect? No, I did not. But... I always helped the information prefix to write the news. <laughs> so you were so you are the shadow information I was Actually, I was on the opposition then. Of no, he, he was the chief of staff. Uh, yeah. so, 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 so things to do with debate, things to do. And you see, those are things that actually initiate you into. At that time, go to Bidiko. You love debating, you love doing speeches. <laughs> but later on, hey, it grew up with you. So it comes way easier. <laughs> so for me, what inspired me, first of all, before the business side of it, it was, I just love speaking, naturally. Now, when I realized that, you know what, there's money here, 
he actually can make a living. Atengo yagara kaogo. Hey, atengo yagara kaogo keta ga. Kati mukuso kagua keta ga wika. But later on, usanga nti walubo bobeira na bonga na uba keta ga. Atengo gua inokaba wa. I was like, you know what? Let's get into this business. But there are people, of course. Richard Tuwanji is one of them. Uh, he's actually the man who dragged me and said, "There's something you have, but you don't know." And he pulled me. I remember it was a URA event, and they said, "They come." They have asked me to MC an event, but I have been seeing you. So when we reached, he told me, go and open the event. I said, eh? He said, open the event. I am working with you today. And we started working. That's almost. Were you working for free on that day? Uh, tentatively, from the, from the start, mm -hmm. me, he told me, just bang the other black suit of yours, mm. come. You had one suit. So I just, definitely. <laughs> actually, actually, it was hired also. So I had a suit from some guy to do an event. I kept it for a full month. So for everything that fell in the space yeah, during that time, yeah. eh, yeah. you yeah. give me that contact. Eh, <laughs> <laughs> Why, hold on. Ya vivana, ya vivana mu. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Richard, but of course, growing up, the people that I looked up to, uh, Ronnie Miche Gwang is one of them. Yes, is yes, such yes, a very good orator. Is, is a good speaker. Uh, of course, internationally, the people have grown up watching and enjoying. And also, it brings in the humor bit of it. People like Steve Harvey. Those have been my greatest inspiration. Mm. My father himself mm. is, a, wow. is, is, a, is, a, is a very good inspiration. My guy. Is he an MC as well? Yes, he used to, but, in, uh, but and for him, it's because he's been a radio guy. Mm. He's been on radio, he's been, you know, voice, voice six, so those things. Because I used to go with him, and I was like, eh. Guy, By the way, man. Until, until the early, okay, the 2010 and afterwards, MCs at weddings were free. Yeah, free. Yeah. You would yeah. pick, you would pick. You'd pick someone in the ground. Yeah. Just pick. Go <laughs> Musoke. Just pick someone. <laughs> my, father, <laughs> my father MC'd almost, I think. Very many for weddings. Free. Yeah, for free. Yes. For free. Yes. And they would do it so well for free. But now. So when it, when it, when when it came to be uh, a world where you can, you know, make money, that's where we have gone. It has had its cons as well and which we need to iron out, of course. I've always said this over and over again, but, but it's a good business, especially when you do it when you love it. It's passion, and the money is coming in way better. Oh. Nice, and now, uh, let's talk about uh, what makes a good event MC. What are those <sighs> qualities that you're supposed to have? Uh, what are you supposed to, what does uh, What do you think that MC aspiring business? kid yes. in senior two or something, eh? should really focus on and not be diverted by it. what are those qualities that you think they should focus on on building eh? to become See, wh 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 something like McVex or even better uh, for for every i think for every establishment in the world of business oh. first of all there's something that you look up to yeah like i said me growing up i i every time mitch was on tv i would sit listen and observe Uncle mitch. yes i don't want to intervene but uh, you see looking up to people uh, those people are getting so many, uh, let me say, non proper examples of people to look up to. Mm. So, this is where you also help them to look up to the right people because mm. they look up to but not to the right people. E exactly what I was going uh -huh. to say. So, so, number one, first of all, you need to, like I said, you must establish and choose where you want to be. Mm. I have had a chat with MC Cats and he told me, Boss, Bolivia is a name bag. Zetuompita, Mbaga, he was very open. He yeah. told me, Muganda Wang. But if you find cuts, Lugogo cricket Doing his thing. My God, he is he's a gem in his, in his world. So you have to establish and understand what kind of MC are you. That's why now, we started. I'm seeing the corporate thing. That's why, when I, that's why I started by saying corporate events, mm -hmm. MC. So. There are people who can be versatile. Weddings and product launches. Uh, corporate events, yeah, product launches. You know, you have dinners, you have... That's now... Uh, Mama Fina has uh, a dinner. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there are things that I've learned from people like Mitch. Mitch told me, first of all, you must learn your audience. Which kind of audience do you want to serve? Mm. There are people who come and they want to do literally everything. You can't chase everything. You cannot. When you learn your audience, it helps you also to know what to say, when, and how to say it. Because when you're in cricket over, you will say, Chechi over bloody, and people will raise their hand yeah. and say, Checho. But if you are having 
uh, a dinner you know an event it is bankers, bankers yeah, you will dinner. not start asking them church blood. over blood <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it doesn't make yeah, sense yeah. there's no blood there uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing like blood so so, so, <laughs> as, <laughs> so, so, so as, as an mc and if you really yeah. aspire to be one first of all I have people who send me messages, I want to be an MC, I, I see what you do, I really look up to you. And when you sit with them and ask them, so I want you to give me three events in your life that you would want to MC. That's always the question that gets me to know where, where you lie and what you love. Mm-hmm. Give me three events in your life that you, would want. that you would die to MC. Tell me. Maybe it's not about money or maybe it's about the, you know, the mileage that you want to... Give, give, me, me, give me three. Just three. And then people will tell you, ah, man, jagara kuba koku kacha And I'm like, okay. <laughs> 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 then the guy tells you, Timanyo, my inja gana nyoka million, wabera ne show. Neze neba mpa mweda chika satu ni soka nchi kuba mwao. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and then I ask, so when someone comes, and then I ask them, ah, uh, I have an event for Young Achievers Awards Africa. Would you MC it? And the guy tells you, Kakati yao, kwa tu kwenye kora chini nini? But they are all MCs. He doesn't know the name. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it is you to choose. He's not for that for audience. Step number one: just ate. Uh, don't choose because there's money. Choose because you will be Feel comfortable. Mm. The comfort. The events have been given, and I say, hey, first give me the preamble. When someone uses this, I say, ni no man again no chikubia. You see, judge jikola. And I openly tell them, ah, uh, that one I will not. I have someone who will do that one for you. So you need to be honest to yourself. That's step number one. And then step number two, we grow every day. You can never be an expert just because you've done five or ten events. You have to grow every day. And we always say you are only as good as your previous event. Yesterday, I was was talking to a friend of mine. Probably it was a whiskey, but... (laughs) <laughs> Were you talking point. to the whiskey? <laughs> <laughs> on, on the you whiskey, your Focus on the point. Okay. <laughs> you see, uh, he said something like, you can work for 10 years, but with one year's experience. Yes. Like, you've actually worked mm, 10 years. That whiskey was good. Yeah. No, no, like, but what you learned in one year is what you just were going for 10 years. That means you don't have 10 years experience, but rather you have just the one year's mm. experience, but mm. just probably... Is that ten. why job application <laughs> asks for campuses for 10 years' experience? <laughs> when they have just left university. <laughs> we'll dive into that later. Back so, 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 so uh, for me, it is, you just need you to need understand to and, 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 and grow the accept, experience. Accept, accept that you grow every day. I have seen Mitch come to events where he's the MC. By the way, events that he is manning. His company is running the event. But that guy will get that program and sit somewhere and go through it like he's going for an exam. I mean, it's Uncle Mitch, guys. Mm. It's, a, it's a guy who will throw in any waters and he'll kill it and he'll be like, eh. But he will read it like, and, and it's a discipline. It's a discipline. A soccer player knows that every weekend I play football. Yeah. They train every day. Even the best in the world, up to now, talk of Cristiano Sometimes Ronaldo. Sometimes they even Messi. bench. They don't even you understand? Play but but the guy train. will still train. Why? Every it's a day. discipline. And, and it's, it's, it's even in, in our MC world, it's a discipline. You must learn that when I get an event, don't take it for granted. You are only as good as the previous you event. Before this event, we don't know you. We don't know that you are very good. We might have hired you, but we need to see. You must tell us that you're good. And you will do that if you kill this event. Sure. I hope you got contacts at my wedding. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Now, which who emceed your wedding? Uh, Richard Tuans, actually. Yeah, okay. Ah, yeah. Richard was the MC's MC. Yes. Yeah. 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 Because I also emceed <laughs> his wedding. I, g- I bet you had uh, uh, some notes over the high table. Younger than Mukar. By the way, is one guy I, I actually made up my mind way back. Way back. I, I trusted him because I knew, I, I, I know him. You had seen him in action. And besides, Richard has like been my brother. Even when we, all my events, we go for Kuchala, he has been, he was there with me. He was part of the entourage. He was, so he was part of the process. So he knew everything. He knew the homes. He knew the place. He knew the parents. He knew the everything. So he took you process by process. And now, Rolly, thank you so much for that. Let's talk about those mistakes that MCs make. 
Uh, first of all, the greatest mistake that um, even some of us have made is taking an event for granted. Because I've done weddings, ah, it's yeah, another wedding, mm. it's another wedding of KJ. Just, it, just, just one thing that I need to throw in there. Before I contacted uh, Mark Vex, I had tried one MC. <coughs> and the MC... <laughs> the MC I know was that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. I, I tried one MC. And uh, first of all, he didn't impress me. Some, some, because I was not around and someone recommended him to me. And then, so the MC, I invited him to one of my wedding meetings. And he, he was not engaging with family. Mm -hmm. So my, my, one of my guys is like, Jacob, this MC doesn't understand your people. Mm -hmm. Let us call on Mark Vex. So I'm like, if we are calling on Mark Vex, he needs to come to one of the wedding meetings. He's yeah. like, no. When you call him, he will tell you, when, he will ask you, sorry, when is your next wedding meeting? Mm. So I'm like, oh, if that is, is what he's going to ask, let him come. It's on this day and this day. And then he came through, and then we went through the program of the day. But before that, during the wedding meeting, it was about planning. How do you go about this? How do you go about this? During the wedding meeting, there is something he threw in, and then everyone who is somebody who is, you know, the wedding, it's like your father is the one hosting his guests, yes, yes. and his son is marrying. So one of the representatives of my father was like, hey, who, who is Jacob's friend? So Ronnie falls in. Before I know it, they, 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 they are talking to each other. Then eventually I'm like, hey, that is our MC. <laughs> oh, eh? I already blended people. Exactly. Hey. So he blended into the family just on the first meeting. And he didn't know I was going to get married. He just knew I am I'm going for this Jacob Cage's He has wedding. a testimonial mm. on the show. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. For me, for me, it's... And even, and even when he told me how much he charges, I didn't bargain. I just asked him Dear how viewers, much... don't bargain also. <laughs> how, no, no. I, I only asked him how much is the deposit. Yeah. I don't remember. I think you told because me Because full. I, I, I told him make 50%. Then, and then this man was saying, no, me, I want to send you money. I am not around. I want to send you your yes, money. Yes, yes, because you know these things. So at the end of the day, usually... You see, I like, think I paid the full amount. Yeah, he actually sent, yeah. he just sent me and yeah, I told him left. it's scheduled. <laughs> Four years ago. <laughs> Four years ago. Yeah, we yeah, are yeah, talking yeah. about yeah. investment. Uh, well, yeah. I invested Zaza, in... Saving I, culture. I invested in friendship. That's, <laughs> why, <laughs> uh, we, that's why... I, I see there's a lot of friendship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's proceed with our mistakes. Uh, so so the, the greatest mistake is to take any event for granted. I've been telling people lately, so people have been asking me, but you no longer post so much of the events that you host. And I told them, guys, the easiest way for me, I did that then because I wanted people who didn't know to know. Now, they now know. the event you do is, what, is what sells you. You do it wrong, you go wrong about it, it is done. Even if you post how many times, people will be in the meeting and they will say, Ah! Hmm. Oh, your guy chair too cold. Oh, Karamite Makovic. Ah, la, 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 please. <laughs> don't, don't. And then number two, people come for an event. You need to feel like it is your own. Chechiri chetu watu soke dekundi. Edda, ba MC Babi ranga, ba mtu wa bewaka. Namu family mani nti, ah, tu ina yo keji. Kwata no muzi. Kiti keji. Senga na romansi oriwa. Kiti keji. In most cases, we are going to have a semester. The master But now it has gone professional, and and though even when we say it has gone professional, to some extent it's unprofessional because I attend events and you see and you're like, really? Why did you have to say that? So about to singer, in most cases, you must understand that an event must be your event. Think about it. Singa gua ba da wasa, wa singa company ba de yo, singa gua ba de yo mtu mtu kora. What would you want? What would you not want? Kati chini chewa tuandi yagadde, tuchikora. And then number two, 
emceeing a lot on the event itself is so much about speaking. Now that speaking bit is very technical. Some people forget that on an event, you must know what you should say, how you should say it, and when you should say it. Some people just speak, which is not the case for an event. That's why you will sometimes be given a write-up. People get so surprised when I turn up at a wedding. They're and then after, after a certain speech, I even tell people, did you know that the name Jacob actually means this? And then you, because it's an art, you will have panned the way mm, of knowing that, do some research. Uh, that, 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 that uh, Gerard has married Agnes. Then you look at names. You do some research. It is something that people take for granted. Ah, to my into you, Brian, or you, Checho, or you, David, Checho. Now, David, I've found you on my channel, and you, Esther. Go to the Bible, research, find out what was so special about Esther, what was so special about David. Colorate the two. If you lay it on the table and the way you address it, people will be like, wow, it makes a lot of sense. That is getting something to say, knowing how to say it and when well, you should say mm -hmm. it. And then number three, like I started by saying, time is important. That's why I always ask people, what time is your church? Then, mugena kubi sevifana nye before or after? Kati venue, mwabagore mwabagambi, abantube mwaise mwabagambi, enti, bajesa wa meka. If they say our cards were inviting people 3 p.m. By the way, you asked me for my yes, card. Yes, because I asked him, I was like, so uh, you have invited the people, what time are they expected to be there? Because the ideal thing is, as an MC, you're there before. Even not to say anything. Now you ita ita mune wete gede, zano mwenye nti dijal yao, nti ebiyo kunyo abili wali, bwemba nyingi la mpita wano. Small, small details. Everything. But they mean a lot. Because the Jaguita and Amo to Gambe, whatever body is a capiti, what was step of Jango to tickets. Now, if you have not noticed that, Jaku Jango Zequita, Bagoro, you call them all gwe. I'm telling you, eh? oh, you reach and do a survey, and, and you're like, guys, if we have traditional dancers, Ninja Ninja who bode, Nyanya, I take a cool cakey, I take an avajokta, good rubber number money. So ahead of that's what I was saying, you as an MC, so you'll advise and say, so Can we push about the cake management? The whole thing, like the broad things. So and do you know why you will do that? You are bothered because you feel like the event is yours. Cakey we go, you will not stand on the side and say, Ah, you have a couple of take a kind of cake, but now take a good day. No, you will feel bad because yes. if it was your event, you'd feel bad that your cake has yeah. fallen. So Time is very important, and it only helps you, by the way, as an MC. And, and then, number four, you must learn how to talk to people. I have listened to MCs before. But I will come. This is a business. You understand? This is a business. Communication skills. Very important. Like I, I was talking to him today, there's, there's a guy who called me, the June guy. Mm. Guy has a wedding in June, but he's booking now. But when I was coming, I, told, I called him. We had an appointment, I called my him. And I knew we are in January. Yes, I <laughs> called him and told him, my guy, I want to make it on the agreed time. Where are you? He said, I'm in office. I said, fine. When I get done, can I call you? So wait for my call. Then do, but do you know why we are meeting? Because I told him, I need to meet you with your wife. I need to meet you with your wife. I need to know your wife. We are just going to have a conversation. He said, yeah, I have your man. I said, yeah, it is not very important. June is still far, but I need to create rapport with you guys. Mm -hmm. So you become like friends. You know how you're speaking on behalf of, you're the MC on your friend's event? Mm -hmm. Now, I try as much as possible to, to build relate. that. So that it becomes so easy with you. So you don't come as if mm -hmm. strange, yeah? KPI, key performing indicators have to be it. Uh -uh. So you, you must create that relationship. And it's not only for weddings, by the way. Even for all the other companies, MTN or Airtel or Total or have called you. For me, this is why I think I've worked with so many companies. I've worked with the beverage company for every time they have a promotion. And in their board meetings. Before I know, they tell you, hey, by the way, your name as usual. Mm. As, as usual, you are the one going to... Do you, Actually, they, I know that beverage company. The co-host is, the, the, the co is going to change, mm. but you, you are, 
you are our guy. So it's the relationship, and it helps you in the long run as an MC. Kuba now we got MCO, you know, Bulamu. Away from MC, you don't know how those people will help you. And besides, those are your advertisers. They will send you somewhere else. Yeah, but make nah. the good recommendations. Yes. yes, and then you talked about the cake falling, and then the MC falling. Now, have you ever had a bad moment? Tell us about that worst moment. I think one, Did you I, freeze the one I want to call the worst moment was uh, Miss Uganda. Actually, I had just bought that suit, very new, specifically for Miss Uganda. Mm. And then, stepping on the stage, I'm doing whatever I'm doing. I remember I had actually gone to ask some Juliana Kanyomozi, because we're doing like a cheat chat as the girls were getting ready behind, so we're engaging the crowd. And then I noticed that on my impali, mm, it had mm. ah, yeah, 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 yeah. my guy, the checked guy was Fitty, out. Fitting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where are you there? <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> the threads were out. Yeah, my friend, check it again. Well, yeah. that time you told us you were out. The checked <laughs> guy was out. Like, very visible. <laughs> Meanwhile, the cameras are there, all the TV stations, da 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 da. And then Juliana whispered to me. She said, check it. Of course, as a man, when they say, your pants. <laughs> you look for the center. <laughs> Not knowing that the contour was on the side. <laughs> ah, no, and he told me, no, no. And she was pushing the mic away. She said, go to the side. My guy, and in my mind at that moment, I was thinking, for how long have I been like this? Mm. Honestly. And then recently, I was hosting MMA, Mixed Martial Arts, mm. uh, as a ring announcer. Yes, yes. Someone okay, actually so that, online. Was there a Serena or something? Yeah, that, there's one on yeah, Serena. There's one with another yeah. designer. So someone yeah. actually, for the guys, the guy was watching from Brazil yeah. online. And then he commented and he said, the ring announces the trouser is a ton. <laughs> <laughs> that video? From Brazil, my guy. Do you have the clip? <laughs> and and you see, I didn't know. So, because you're in the ring, nobody gets in the ring. Yeah. So, because the guys are seeing online, after announcing the fighters and, you know, doing the profiles and bringing Someone the MC, I move out. No, 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 I move out because the, the, guy, the producers mm, would be following are, online. Yeah, the guy told me, come. When I said, hey, buddy, you just said that. <laughs> it was so to say. <laughs> and I looked at him, I was like, what, good enough, I'd carried an extra trouser. Yeah. So, coming, coming, back to, <laughs> coming back to the ring, actually what I did that day, and those guys had a very bloody fight, very bloody fight, yeah. because yeah. I knew that the biggest audience was online. I had to build it. And I was like, this is the biggest fight we've had so far tonight. And you know what? I think the anticipation was there. Clothes are getting torn, just like mine, especially for you online who are watching. But we are back. We are better. You have to, and you have to give it to those guys. And they'll be like, okay, it's respectful enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. And now, in the same regard, let's talk about uh, what we have in Uganda. Like you said, MC Gats and seeing a wedding. Can comedians, make, can comedians make a good MC, a good events okay. MC? Comedians can actually make very good MCs. And please quote me right. Comedians make the best MCs. But not every comedian can make a good MC. Mm. I will say it again. If you have a comedian for an MC, you have a two-in-one. Mm. Because that guy will bring life to your event. Mm. But not every comedian and, put it and make a good MC. There are people who, in their art, it's show up, crack the jokes, leave. They don't have the art of ad libbing and you know introducing. And if they think it's it's just about making fun, making fun, making fun, making fun. And sometimes there are on events where you it doesn't have to be like that. Last night I was hosting an event for 25 years of uh, there's a company called Shri. They deal in bathroom stuff. Mm, I know them. Bathroom. And then 10 Which years... I think it's going on the whole week. Yeah, and then 10 years they've been partnering with a company called Jaqua, which is, I think, one of the world's leading. Mm. Uh, they, they produce those products. Showers, da 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 da, -da. Mm. So you can imagine. The event is about bathtubs and showers and all of those yeah, things. Yeah. Now, for you to come and host that event, and think it's going to be, because at a certain point you had, or I had to speak to the audience about why it has to be a Jaqua product. I spent like four days reading about those things. I even discovered in the recent World Cup concluded Qatar, mm -hmm. the Khalifa Stadium. They are the, they are the ones. It's actually, they're the ones. Now, all, the, 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 all those things you saw, it was a Jaqua. But now, yeah. yes, speaking to an audience, about, and there were, I think, 93% of the audience were Indians. Yes. 
so you can think about it. An MC or a comedian can make, I mean, that's why you see when we're at the Oscars, it's Chris Rock. Yeah, um, I think uh, Noah, Trevor Noah, Noah as, as well uh, for the for the Grammys. Steve Harvey this is from Miss Universe. Guy. <laughs> this is his name. Uh, the British guy. Chappelle. Dev. Dev Chappelle. Dev Chappelle. <laughs> now Dev Chappelle has not done a lot of MC. He has. But what yeah, Dev Chappelle? Up, yeah. Yes, but what Dev Chappelle does is uh, say like monologues for for uh, a recognition. I saw him do it for Jay Z, and for him it's because they are related. So he came on stage and he had to give a monologue before they appreciated Jay-Z. And he does that a lot because he's a good orator. He knows how to put his words together. And he adds in humor when he's saying it. And then finally he will say, well, give it up for my nigga, my man, my brother, from the hood, or Jay-Z. But Chris Rock will come, do his jokes. Be slapped. And then, <laughs> yeah, 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 he will slap you with jokes and then receive the slaps back. <laughs> but he will invite somebody or an award and he will sound a complete MC. So it's a two in one. But there are those who will come and my guy. I've, and I've seen them in Uganda at weddings. Guy thinks it's for being funny all the time. I was at a wedding. I was being vulgar. And yeah. someone came and for him because they told him you have come to MC to and he said certain things. And my brothers from across Masaka kept saying, you know coming as a guest and people start saying, Erebus, why don't you think of <laughs> Just is scratching to know the thing has gotten spoiled. Please. And I'm like, no, no, guys, I'm a guest. Let, uh, uh, I can only wait for that guy. I'm going to talk to him. And it was messed up. And you know what he's saying? The guy was uh, teaching the Mugole, the Mugole man, how to handle a Mugole woman. And he went as far as, and I was like, no way. <laughs> No, no. I was dying in my seat and I'm like, this cannot happen. But that's not as bad as a story of a MC at a bar who was mixing up gender. Like, hey, I'm gonna but the bar They said Muchala. <laughs> <laughs> and then when they say Muchala, you, you think you have to resurrect and say, Kali, where would you say Waban? And they say, I'm dead and Nazar. Research. Don't just yeah. come. Yeah. Research. Yeah. Don't do some research. I have yeah. seen an MC at my grandfather's burial. Mm. That guy called Patrick. He's a genius. Mm. We were at a burial. Where is he now? He's in Imbara. He's in Imbara. He's actually Patrick. a teacher. Mm. Yeah, he's actually a teacher, I think, at Ontario hey. School. Hey. Hey. Oh, the artist. Ah, uh -huh, yes, he's an artist. Hey. Yes, he's a teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Patrick. He's good. He's and he's, good. he's my good friend. We talk when I, I call him. He gives me, I give him business. And the guy came for a burial. Huh? He took us through and it was all he knows. And the things you need to know. I have hosted one of the things, by the way, that have changed my mind and perception is when I MC weddings for either UPDF guys or police. First of all, <laughs> first of all, for them... Get the ranks right. Yes, when, first when of the all for them, near. <laughs> uh, First of all, for them, it is about the ranks. Mm. They are very selfish with their ranks. You have to get it right. Secondly, there are things that they follow. You will not bring your money young. When they are coming in, there's a guard of honor, mm. and the brass band has to play. When they go through the swords, they are sword bearers. Then they see you when they're going to cut cake, there must be a, a command. But you see, a, yes, that's how it's done. When they are cutting cake, they use the sword. Mm. And at that moment, by the way, when you get married to a, so a police officer, the rank they hold, you as a wife, you also hold the same rank. Mm. I've been at where oh. I see the big, big officials in police come. And the last one that I did, the following day, Asan Kasinje put up a tweet. And he said, I have seen MCs, but Mark Vex, yesterday, you were exceptional. Yeah, you Meanwhile, mm. it was mixed languages. Mm. The man is a Munyankori. Mm. The woman, they say, is Munyarwanda, but who doesn't know Munyarwanda, but speaks Luganda. But her parents had come from Rwanda. <laughs> but also now they are badays. Don't know Kinyarwanda, don't know a lot of Luganda and Runyankori, so we had they to do English. English. Cocktail. Like this one. You know all? <laughs> Cocktail, my friend. I had to forget Nyagwanda. I had not been in Okogero, Uganda, and Kanye Nekugambori Nyankore, and I had to use English.
That's, <laughs> that, that, that's also a plus, and it's, it's one thing that Mitch told me. Mitch told me, you know, you know Mitch is very good with, with French <laughs> and Spanish. He's actually very fluent. Actually, this year, I'm beginning French lessons. Really? Yes. I said French for two years, but the only things I know. <laughs> Don't say them. <laughs> <laughs> now, Rudy, in that, in that same regard, tell us about your best client ever and your worst client. Well, we've had from uh, the worst. Let me begin with the worst the because should be on this table. Yeah, you be careful. <laughs> <laughs> the worst. He paid before. The worst client. No amount. And he paid hundred mm. percent. The worst client. There have been quite a number. Yeah. Those who say, I know sometimes. But this is a champion I, of them. I, I don't want to be so rigid, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, like say, you give me fifty percent, and then on the day of your event, I tell you that's when you'll give me the balance. I don't want to be the kind who will say, ah, zompazang you na sin na yogira. But by the nature of this business, mm -hmm. you reach a point, and then you're forced to do that, because when the wedding is done, I have done your wedding. You you're appreciative. The guy tells you, come sing kilomba mani ncha. Mm. And it never comes. I can tell you even now. There are people I Hasn't said, arrived. and there are people I gave up. I just said, ah, well done. Burundi go and see, but cast your marriage is Muzuri. God bless you. I will only be blessed. Now, when I tell you that this man said, me, I want to give you your money in Chivemu. Uh -huh. Definitely, he does, does not qualify now for the worst client. Uh -huh. so tell us about a client. He's in the best. <laughs> he's in the best. He's in the best. I think for me, the best client is, is a person who appreciates what you do, who respects your job, and agrees to the terms and conditions. Because you see, we come and we do these things, but when we go back home, also us, when you leave with a suit, there are people who are saying, hey, so today is going to come back. Yeah, today is coming back when it's heavy. When you come back and say, ah. <laughs> Except when you eat the money months eh, before, eh, you eh, can eh, live in a suit and come back and... That, that's why, that's why it's... No, no, no. If you ate the money, eh, and it is true you ate the money, when you're coming back with the suit, you must plan accordingly. Eh, <laughs> because you can't lie. But if it has genuinely not come as agreed, mm. my guy, that's where you come. When you call at the gate, you say, open. Wanji, I said open. <laughs> <laughs> there they know there's a problem. <laughs> and when you enter, they say, welcome back. And you say, okay, go, first, first go, don't leave me alone. <laughs> you know, and, and, and it happens. I mean, clients play us. Clients play us. Uganda. It, it, somebody, mm. about three weeks ago, I did an event. And the guy told me, we come from Australia. Blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, he was <laughs> Who's event recommended did Mark do? Rec three, three weeks ago. I did not Mark even Vex. post anything about yeah. it. Three but you see, you, you, you give which me events were happening, and, and you're like, mm. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you. So, yeah, we are, so, so we agree, we agree, <laughs> we agree <laughs> and then yeah, someone <laughs> someone plays you. Yeah, it, yeah, it's, yeah. it's it's it's, it's it so happens. frustrating. And by the way, let me tell you, on the day when they play you, uh. there's another client uh. who was willing to pay to you pay even you more, idea. but you say, No, because I gave this guy my word, uh -huh. I cannot. I will I say, my guy, I'm sorry, but I already have a client. But this guy plays you. Of course, unforeseen circumstances. <laughs> but now every business, <laughs> but we, we are not going to keep saying that for you. <laughs> <laughs> you are not going to be the reason why this business has a loss. No way. Disclaimer, we, we are not paying Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> but the best client, I think the best client... Besides um, innovation goes... Besides me. Uh -huh. besides yeah. me. <laughs> okay, uh, the best client, besides not on this table. This one is okay. <laughs> not on this table. Yeah. I, I think Crown Beverages Limited has been my best. I think so too. Has been my mm. best. Are yeah, you his accountant? Because for those, <laughs> for those that don't know Crown Beverages, it is Pepsi Cola. <laughs> no, we, we have done some business it. together. And they, no, they are a very good client. And they will call you up, they will tell me we have this event. Or we have, even for the events. Oh, no. Crown, we have no sponsor for that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the way, Mami Timothy Ruzinda, hey. think about this. Hey, me, I'll call out names. This okay, is Mirinda Fruity, by the way. I will, I, will, <laughs> I will tell you that uh -huh. because I worked and I loved working with those guys, mm. they would even ask me, when are you going to be available? Mm. For the product launches, for the campaigns on TV, that we reached the point, even on my wedding, they said, how much soda do you want? And the CEO himself, Mr. Pademoravir, 
called me to his office. He said, bring your wife. I need to see her. Then I will tell you what I want to tell you. And he said, away from the money. We hope you know that the only soda we expect is... <laughs> <laughs> Don't smuggle in, Stone. And, and I said, so what is going to He said, no, 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 no. How much soda do you want? Just write the number of crates here on this paper. I will make a directive. My wedding was on, on Friday. He called me and said, where are you? Please be at your venue at around 4 p.m. A truck is coming. Huh? This guy was in charge. I, we got done with the wedding. People drank soda and I had extra 12 grits. Mm. Crown beverages. And they said, we are giving you. When you come back, you come and visit me and you come to the plant. Now we receive you officially as a mister and a missus. Then we shall see what we shall do. So now Crown Beverage. Coca Cola and I, 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 I want to be like Ronnie on my wedding. <laughs> so, so Coca Cola and I and, and I will tell you that <laughs> Crown Are you Beverage sure? is. Coca Cola I, I, or Uganda something. Uh, Century bottling. Uh, uh, no. The one you, you want at your wedding <laughs> is another client. <laughs> even, <laughs> even, even, <laughs> uh, even those ones. Hey. I will tell you <laughs> that on my wedding, <laughs> those guys, and we've had partnerships. And by the way, Richard Tuanje took me there. Those so, Rosita guys, eh? So, so we, we used, we used <laughs> to do all the ones yeah. at the night. Yeah. So, so we used, to do, we used to do things, <laughs> the end of year events. Mm. You know, when it is in December, there's a lot of money floating around that time. Yeah. So we used to do end of year events. That's how I also started being a man who supports intoxicants. Those ones that are good. Yeah. Yeah. So I said, but I think sometimes when you're talking about a product, you need to be sure. Mm. I, I remember a friend told me, oh, this will us see you on Zira Road, Zira Glory, Zira Glory. So, so that's the Glory arrangement. They have also been very good clients, but also have been with a good client. That's a good in the bottles. Ah, la, 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 la. Yes, really, thank you. And uh, now, on closing it up, let's talk, uh, give at least, inspire those youths, you know, give at least, you know, a word to the youths as we close it down. Number one, don't rush. Guys, I'll tell you, you Be rush, patient. you knock. Be patient. Even the guys that you see have done it. Sit down with them. Have conversations. You'll be amazed. I will tell you that where I started, there's when we used to do comedy shows. And what would happen is we would invite our friends. So we'd get some money, go to NASA and print like invitation cards. Mm. And our show had no entrance fee. So I go to campus. I ask my friends, you come for this is if you don't have this one, you will not enter. But there's no entrance fee. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't take away <laughs> beda. Beda, beda. You, the premium. I'm like, please the, you the, come. The, the, the then when we are going to Namika, Namika, to tax, I pay for them transport. But Obagamba, I know we are just having an evaluation meeting. You guys can go. Katinga tu tu la kwa ni mabega. Katinga tu ba la tu gama da chika me. Oro waza katiba ise wande ya wazi ku campus. Mathema. Katia wanga tu gatuta. Gatuta ambula ofi. Gatuta ambula. So there's a ever body meeting. That is where you will understand that. The gain is in the pain. Be mm. patient. Don't rush. Mm. I am not saying that your struggle is going to be about transport. Mm. Previously, the struggle was about getting a stage to perform or an event to host. Yeah. Your struggle in this digital era is going to be being able to have a camera to shoot your content and for people to view it. Your struggle mm. in this era is going to be data. you to, to compete here to have data. Your struggle is going to be you to compete with TVs and mm. other content creators. But... Be patient and have a focus. It's very simple. Just keep the attitude. I always tell people, it's my, it's my statement. That's how I live. Your attitude will forever determine your altitude. That is how you will live. Nice, nice. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, Rudy Macvex. Now, you're the first motivational speaker. The baby move. I didn't know what you were going to do. Inspire the youth. Yeah. Yeah. You're from Nairobi, but you get three now. You get a motivational speaker, an MC, and a comedian. In, in oh, one person. Of some, yeah. so. <laughs> and then you have it now. On closing it down, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Mahubia, what's up? Tell me what you've learned from uh, the man himself. Today I've got it to know MC Hamaya Yalimba. <laughs> <laughs> MC Hamaya College. Do you know MC Hamaya? This man is a young man. Do you know MC Hamaya? Ice, ice, baby. Now, um, I want to check and research where I got the MC from because from what he has said, MCing seems to be 
a broad thing yeah, and sure. a more focused thing than ice, ice, baby. Yeah, for your own information, yeah. some rappers are also MCs. Yeah. Yes. Okay. There are some rappers who are MCs. Yeah, this is, this is even an artist I knew. It's called Bra Brian Lyon. Yeah. <laughs> he has a song. Do you go over to you? No, one more thing. One more thing. <laughs> I just had one more question for him. Yeah. Uh, you see, MCing is uh, one, is can, I, can an introvert be an MC? Yes. Two. Mm. In your own take, in your own take, do you think this is a talent or more of a skill? Like this is something you're born with, or you can nurture it as you go along? The, the people who can be nurtured into being MCs, uh -huh. when but when you naturally have the talent to speak, we just polish. We now polish and say, oh, you get up, oh, you get up. Oh, the people who actually are in the doors, the people I've met. They have really good have voices. Have a friend called Steven. Ah, you get up. Guy, wabu atu kabu atu gamba. Eh, unaliwa. That we are better you now you get it. Everybody will listen. Because you see, as an, an as an MC, when you're talking, you're in command. Yes. Everybody will Everyone listen. It's like my friend Olin here. DJ Soko said. Yeah, in a command. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> Kati you know go you get up. Everyone you're amplified so everyone will listen. But Never to see the kind of it is. The question is, what are you Content. saying? Also, you saying? content to worry, or what would you do? Okay, so, so, so are, are MCs content creators? Not um, <laughs> it depends because you see, comedians fall into MCs. being MCs, mm -hmm. and comedians are content creators. Mm -hmm. There are influencers that we have who are content creators, but call them to MC an event. They can't, as is my friend, nothing no. negative. But there are some when we have. Uh, projects and you're, you know, you're, 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 you're interviewing them. There's, there's one we interviewed on radio, and the guy told me, Is the Tombos are in your Jacobo zone? I was like, Really? Yeah, you're a content creator, and you can't talk. And the girl told me, The Tombos are in your Jacobo zone. Uh. So, so, so it's, it's, it's like I said, if you are a speaker, you already have the plus one. So, mm. what the remaining bit is to polish you up and know how you're supposed to address certain things. What kind of language are you supposed to use? Your diction makes a lot of sense. Now, people who are very good orators, that's where they kill it. That's where they're so good. I mean, Mitch is a guy you will take uh, professionally, he's a veterinary doctor. Occupationally, he's into events. But if that guy starts talking real estate, you'll be like, eh? And you know, Mitch is actually the only guy who's, who's hosted CNN Awards from Uganda. Wow. That man was the CNN that. Awards. Yes. Wow. And, and when he starts speaking journalism, but Mitch was on radio. A veterinary doctor was one of the best, or if not still, ranked among us the best radio presenters this nation has had. Yes, there you had it, ladies and gentlemen. And now, Jukes, uh -huh. the fun facts guy. Yeah, now, interesting fact. When I was in uh, Livingstone Hall, Years ago, a, 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 a gentleman. <laughs> a, gentleman. A, a gentleman. That part is debatable. <laughs> the gentleman part. <laughs> I love when I see it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but I used the room I used to in used to look at faculty or vets. Now we I used to listen to Mitch, who you've mentioned very many times in this show, on radio, and some days I would watch him walk past our room, either going to to, to the radio vet. Yeah. To cut his oh, all living, <laughs> all living. <laughs> so it's, it's. I think in the world they say it's six degrees of separation between you and the next person. That's my. That's one of the things I've learned. Then, I've learned from Ronnie that it's actually the word master of ceremony is a big thing. When we were younger, we used to joke mental case, but. <laughs> <laughs> so, but <laughs> it means uh, it's something I can't do because of the weight of expectation and the things you have to know and prepare for. Almost without time, also a chico wife, I dragged him to dance. say, in 30 minutes we are going somewhere and he doesn't know what we are going to do. It's hard and, and I appreciate that I've met him and then that the arts are now getting the appreciation they deserve. True. Thank you so much, Jiko. And Ronnie, Tell us uh, how people can uh, reach Ronnie McLeaks, uh, where are you found as you close it up? Uh, every single day, Monday to Friday, uh, you can get to listen to me. That's number one. Uh, so I work with Next Radio 106.1. I do a drive show, uh, 4 to 8 p.m. every day. I also do a TV show. Uh, KJ talked about my life as a footballer. 
So I also do a sports show on NBS Sport every Thursday, 9.40 p.m. And uh, the other works you'll find, but on all socials, at Ronnie McVex, uh, that's for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you surely cannot miss me. And then once in a while, we'll always meet in the famous places. It's yeah, like Volta. I'm going, I'm I'm going, going to ask Ronnie, when is he hosting? Chairman of Weatherhead Hockey Club ah, on your show. Hey. Now that we're on TV <laughs> and you can't say no. That one, first of all, how many shows do you want? Just give me one. Ah. Uh, Octanica. It's money. Next, next you have Thursday. underperformed. <laughs> I have three shows for you already. Even before we came on the set, I had a plan. <laughs> next Thursday. In other things, I don't know when this will be. But <laughs> next weekend, my club, Karango, oh. is heading to Nairobi to play in the equivalent of African Champions League of Hockey. Mm -hmm. So we are champions in 2021 and we are invited by Africa Hockey Association. So for me, it's about, not about me, but talking about whenever you're ready, a sport that's unknown. And when Brian told me, Said Ronnie a jack. Now <laughs> I'm taking advantage in front of the camera. As you take advantage in front of the camera, I'll mm. precisely tell you small matters. You mm. are sorted. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm not aware of the Unless you're going to call me on 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 what? Not in camera. No, no, no but, but <laughs> also the, the station that I work for. Uh, we are a station of champions digital realignment. Mm. So wherever you are, mm. we can find you. Right. There's a man called Jermaine Egesa. Mm. He's been one of the uh, commentators for football. He comment, uh, does commentary for Star Times Uganda Premier League, mm. but he was taken to Algeria to, to do commentary for Chan. Mm. And whenever yes, he's doing yes, commentary, yes. he's Jermaine Egesa. He's a young guy just up here. In. But mm. whenever he was there, he'd also give us links on air. So it's, it's wherever you are, Good. I'll find you, my guy. Good. He's sorted. So oh, we end up KJ. Yeah. KJ. Mm. Um, <clears throat> one thing that I have appreciated about the show today mm. is that uh, back in the days when we were growing up, MCing was not a profession. Mm. But I've lived a moment whereby MCing has come from being something you do for free, for family, to being a profession whereby your family yakawogo. Mm. Oh. And even more than Kaogo, you get some money, you, you can invest you can it. get a whole market. Exactly. Whole and also, <laughs> I'm also very happy that it has also transitioned from just receiving that, that check, that pay, mm. to now it's also segmented. You can choose which audience mm. to MC for. Sure. Ron is doing corporate. There are some people who do Vinyanya and Navy Yeah, and you're the biggest guy. And there's there a lot of all, money there. There are also yeah, others yeah, yeah. who are doing international shows. Yeah. So you choose your craft only in the emceeing profession. Rooney, thank you. The most, and maybe one more thing that I, I forgot to tell people. Guys, if you're coming into this world, I'll tell you one thing that Roger Mugisha told me one day. So we're from an event, and I met him. Actually, I didn't know he was around. And he said, my brother. Everything else done. I know everybody appreciates, but I've been following you. I want to appreciate you for one thing. And he said, smartness. And then he added by saying, do you know why? Because before they listen to you, yeah, they okay, see yeah. you. So if you're we have already, your audience has already judged. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you're the best speaker, but mm. if you're not smart, they're like, ah. Thank you, Mark. Thank you so much for, you know, that information. There you had it, ladies and gentlemen, dear viewers and listeners. Not So Complicated has brought you the Not So Complicated MC. Oh, yes, Ronnie McVex. If you want to reach out to Ronnie McVex, you can reach uh, him through us on all our social media handles, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and you can see his socials on the screen. Please endeavor to reach out to him and support him if you want the best work. You will say, church it over blood, and people will raise their hand yeah. and say, church it. But if you are having uh, a dinner, you know, an event with his bankers, bankers, yeah, you will not dinner. start asking him, church it over blood. I'm going to show you how it is. Thank you.